Good afternoon to all. My name, uh, my, I am Dr. Francois Blouin from the Swords Ministry. For the next three sessions, including this one, uh, the sword or the word, of course, the word of God. Today, I will read the prayer of Daniel chapter 9, verses 1 to 19. I would like to notice the usage of the pronoun. Dan Daniel will confess the sin of his people, expecting the kingdom to arrive. But this is not our point. For today, I read the prayer, and for the next two sessions of the world or the word here, we will do that prayer. We will use this model to pray for the churches at large on this planet during this time. So today we read the prayer in the primary context, in its context, and then we will use it once again as a model for the next two sessions to pray for the churches at large. Come with me in Daniel chapter 9, verses 1 to 20. In the first year of Darius, the sons of Hashirus of Midian descent, who made king over the kingdom of the Chaldeans, in the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, observed in the books the number of the years which was revealed as the word of Jehovah to Jeremiah, the prophet for the completion of the desolations of Jerusalem, namely, 70 years. So I gave my attention to the Lord God to seek him by prayer and supplications with fasting, sackcloth, and ashes. I prayed to Jehovah my God and confessed and said, Alas, O Lord, the great and awesome God who keeps his covenant and loving kindness for those who love him and keep his commandments. We have sinned committed iniquity, acted wickedly, and rebelled, even turning aside from your commandments and ordinances. Moreover, we have not listened to your servants, the prophet, who spoke in your name to our kings, our princes, our fathers, and all the people of the land. Righteousness belongs to you, O Lord, but to us open shame as it is this day. To the men of Judah, the inhabitants of Jerusalem and all Israel, those who are nearby and those who are far away in all the countries to which you have driven them because of their unfaithful deeds which they have committed against you. Open shame belong to us, O Lord, to our kings, our princes, and our fathers because we have sinned against you. To the Lord our God belong compassion and forgiveness, for we have rebelled against him. Nor have we obeyed the voice of Jehovah, our God, to walk in his teaching, which he set before us through his servants, the prophets. Indeed, all Israel has transgressed your law and turned aside, not obeying your voice. So the curse has been poured out on us, along with the oath, which is written in the law of Moses, the servant of God, for we have sinned against him. Thus, he has confirmed his words, which he has spoken against us and against our rulers who ruled us to bring on us this great calamity. For under the whole heaven, there has not been done anything like what was done to Jerusalem. As it is written in the law of Moses, all this calamity has come on us, yet we have not sought the favor of Jehovah our God by turning from our iniquity and giving attention to his truth. Therefore, Jehovah has kept the calamity in store and brought it on us, for Jehovah our God is righteous with, with respect to all his deeds which he has done, but we have not obeyed his voice. And now, O Lord our God, we have brought your people out, your, who have brought your people out of the land of Egypt with a mighty hand, and have made a name for yourself as it is this day. We have sinned. We have been wicked. O Lord, in accordance with all your righteous acts, let now your anger and your wrath Turn away from your city, Jerusalem, your holy mountain, for because of our sins and for the iniquities of our fathers, Jerusalem and your people have become a reproach to all those around us. So now, our God, listen to the prayer of your servant and to his supplications for your sake, O Lord, and let your face shine on your desolate 
sanctuary. O my God, incline your ear and hear. Open your eyes and see our desolation in the city which is called by your name. For we are not presenting our supplications before you on account of any merits of our own, but on account of your great compassion. O Lord, hear. O Lord, forgive. O Lord, listen and take action. For your own sake, O my God, do not delay, because your city and your people are called by your name. Amen. End of the prayer. In the next two sessions, we will use it as the model to pray for our churches at large. I hope that you will not miss it. We bid you shalom. Thank you for watching.